Unemployment issues continue to cause problems for Oklahomans. One of the latest is suspected unemployment fraud. Two Works for You's Katie Kelleher tells us the different ways that it's affecting people right here in green country. I'm going on almost six weeks without work and no benefits. Lynn Matthews' last day of work was March 19th. She filed for unemployment and received her debit card quickly. But when she went to apply for her weekly benefits, she was unable to. The system saying she was an unauthorized user. After weeks of calls to the Oklahoma Employment Security Commission, she still doesn't have many answers, except that it seems someone is getting her money. When I call the automated system, it tells me that I've applied for all weeks available even though I haven't been able to apply for any weeks. Oklahomans are seeing suspected fraud in other places too. Bill Hader owns a small business in Tulsa. He says two people tried to file unemployment claims against him, but he didn't recognize their names or social security numbers. His biggest issue with that is his state tax rate could go up because of it. Then I have to go battle with the OS, OESC to get my um, uh, tax rate back to normal or the normal level it should be. But however, then they've got to go back and uh, pay me those taxes that I had to pay back. Homeowner Robert Palmer suspects people are using his home address to commit unemployment fraud. He says he's receiving mail from the OESC addressed to many different people, but all for his address. They got the wrong address. And then I started flipping through some more mail and three more, you know, two more of them pop up. And I got three at the same time on the same day. All three have reported their suspected fraud claims to the OESC, and they're all still waiting for answers. You know, it's just really sad that, especially at this time when people are suffering so much, that, you know, people are using that as an opportunity to, you know, do fraudulent things. It's just really sad. The OESC recently set up an email account to report suspected fraud. You can find it in this story on our website, kjrh.com. Katie Kelleher, two works for you.